Alan McCauley at Pray It Off in Syracuse, New York. So I talked about last weekend. I talked about how I tried. I really did. And I did. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give myself a 2. No, I'd probably give myself an 8 for Friday night. I was good. And I'd probably give myself a 6 for the football game. But I'm going to give myself a two for the anniversary party because it was free and it was flowing and we were laughing. It was fun. But again, that was on a Sunday. So Monday, I'm getting back in the saddle, okay? So what we need to do with any kind of permanent weight loss is we have to shift our perspective from saying this is all perfection or quit. I'm going to be perfect or I'm going to quit or I'm going to do this for a finite amount of time and then I'm going to do whatever I want. We need to shift our perspective to say not this. So we end up having feelings of guilt, shame and low self-esteem. I was a little down on Monday. I had that cat of nine tails going, you run a weight loss group, couldn't you have done a little bit better? Then the new and improved Ellen said, hey, you didn't do as bad as you could have done. Get right back in the saddle. And that's what I did. Because what good does the guilt, shame, and low self-esteem do? Does it make you feel better? No. no, it makes you want more food, right? So what happens is you think, I've blown my diet, so I might as well eat more, and then I'll be good tomorrow. And this is where we have to say, okay, you can go to a party. You can have birthday cake. And you know what's interesting? They had cake. And I had a little bite, and it wasn't that good. And this is the new and improved Ellen. I stopped eating it. The old Ellen would have said, I got to eat that old piece of cake. I can't waste it. But I did. But you know what was really good? The Italian cookies. I swear, oh. I swear I'm a paisan. <laughs> Somewhere back in Ireland, there were some Italian people I know. So anyway, uh, that's what was the hard part. So we need to shift our perspective. I never say I'm on a diet. I've never said that Pray It Off is a diet group. It is a lifestyle. It's a new way of life. We want to challenge ourselves to do the best we can. Because when we work on reducing our guilt and shame around food, accept ourselves for who we are. I thought I was the Fatty McFatty in high school. I look at my high school and say, you look pretty darn good in high school, Ellen. <laughs> and you know, you think you look Fatty McFatty now, and then you say, wait a minute, I'm 70. I'm doing pretty darn good. Look at the bright side. Do I want to lose some more weight? Yes. But do not have that guilt. A dieting mindset, mindset says foods are good and foods are bad. Now, having four or five hot dogs a week is not really good food choices. But one hot dog is not going to send you off the deep end, okay? So we can't say that our dieting decisions are our worth as a person. Some of the nicest, wonderfulest people I've ever known were kind of chunky, you know? So it doesn't mean you're not a good person. You're not eating bad foods or you're not eating good foods. If you're eating bad foods, are you weak or a bad person? It's that whole cycle of self-abuse that we've all been through. That's why when I circle things on your sheet, let's say you gain two pounds, and I circle the pizza and wings, okay? And then I circle the lasagna, okay? And then I circle the donuts, okay? Yes, I'm still on the same person. And, and, and then... I keep circling these choices. It's not a judgment. It's, I want you to see where the two pounds are. So if you want to lose two pounds, you need to eliminate some, maybe not all, but some of those circled things. And we need to add more good stuff. And by good stuff, you're sitting out there going, but it's really not good, Ellen. It is! <laughs> Blueberries are good. Certain fruits and vegetables are good. I know someone who doesn't like fruits and vegetables, and she had over a week 
a zucchini and created it in different ways and actually liked it. We need to say, what makes my body feel good? And I have to tell you something. When I eat the right things, when I move more, when I get good sleep, I feel great. I woke up Monday morning and felt kind of like a, a food hangover, you know? Mm -hmm. I didn't feel as good about myself, about my body, okay? But we need to limit that negative self-talk. We need to eliminate it. We talked about it last week. We talked about eliminating saying that we're failures. That we're, This is why I want to celebrate and start again, because we're here right now. And we need to make small, incremental changes over time. Over time. You know, they had this whole buffet for the football game, and there wasn't one healthy choice of a, among them, not one. There wasn't fruit, there was no veggies, nothing. So I knew it was gonna be a long day. So they had a very thin wrap with egg salad in it. So I said, you know, uh, I think I'll try that. <laughs> and then they had uh, banana bread. So I figured somewhere there was a banana in that piece of banana bread, <laughs> somewhere, right? So I had one piece of banana bread and the egg salad. So this is what I mean. I wanted to eat something to get me through to the game, because otherwise I might have gone there and bought a $25 hot dog at the game. You know how expensive they are there. So this is what I mean about making smarter choices. You take a look. I didn't have the donuts. I didn't have the pastry. But you take it. Now, um, I could have scraped the egg salad out of the wrap, but the wrap didn't look that calor calorific. And I wrote it on my sheet, okay? So small incremental changes. Gonna stop right there, Bobby.